I did hear you. Any update on the situation in Ukraine? No, not in the last couple hours. Have you decided how soon you would be moving U.S. troops to Eastern Europe? I'll be moving U.S. troops to Eastern Europe and the NATO countries in the near term. Mr. President, are you planning to speak to thank you for What did he say? Just a couple of notes at the top. I mean, I, obviously, we're all socially distanced. Uh. So let me be clear on where things stand today. First, conflict is not inevitable. There is still time and space for diplomacy. The United States, in lockstep with our allies and partners, has offered Russia a path away from crisis and toward greater security. And the Department of Defense will continue to support those <clears throat> diplomatic efforts. Uh, early in the crisis um, must have impacted uh, uh, Putin's calculus. As you know, for months now, Russia has been deploying forces to Crimea and along Ukraine's border, including in Belarus. It has progressed at a consistent and steady pace involving tens of thousands of Russian troops. And it is being supported by increased Russian naval activity in the northern Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea. While we don't believe that President Putin has made a final decision to use these forces against Ukraine, he clearly now has that capability. And there are multiple options available to him, including uh, the seizure of cities and significant territories, but also coercive acts or provocative political acts like the recognition of breakaway territories.